Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tarkon, back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to address a little subject, a little tiny subject regarding the idea of fear. Now I posted a little meme thing, a little quotation thing uh, the other day, and it's uh, by Sadhguru. And it says, fears and insecurities are unconsciously created by you. If you do not create them, they do not exist. And then I got a comment from somebody, which I found humorous, which said, well, how do we remove them? Now, I'm not trying to call you out who left that comment uh, or make fun of you in any way, but it's funny that, that you, you, know, you responded to a quote that was kind of letting you know right there in no uncertain terms, you're creating those fears. If you stop creating them, they don't, they don't appear. So it's almost like <laughs> at this point you're asking, well, how do I remove them? Which is leaning right into this idea of fear. All right. If you're sitting around worried about how do I get rid of my fears? Guess what you're focusing on? You're focusing on fears. And I say this all the time. Stop focusing on the things you don't want. How do I get rid of fear? How do I get rid of fear? How, how do I get rid of fear? Well, now you're creating more fear. You're focusing on fear. Now you're creating a fear of fear, which president said that FDR, we have nothing to fear, but fear itself. Yes, that's absolutely true. And I'm going to offer you something here that you've probably heard many times before. It's an acronym for fear. F-E-A-R. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Now, what does that, what does that mean really? All right. Think about that for a minute. Fear is false evidence appearing real. In other words, most of the things that we fear, that we're afraid of, A, those fears are created by ourselves. We, we lean into that fear. We focus on that fear. So that fear grows. But it's really just an illusion. You see, most of the things that you are afraid of are not things to be afraid of. Most of the things that you worry about rarely come to pass. Now, if you continue to focus, if you continue to focus in that direction, if you continue to create something real out of this false evidence that you're also creating, in other words, like I've said, if you focus on something, you're going to get more evidence of that thing in your reality, and you're going to use that as evidence that you're right, that the thing you were focusing on is correct. And people do this all the time. And then they go, well, see, law of attraction doesn't work. Manifesting doesn't work. But you just manifested that thing. You manifest these things, these circumstances that correspond to your biggest fear, your biggest worry thoughts. And but then instead of saying, oh, look, look what I manifested. That's interesting. Instead of saying that you go, well, look, there's evidence that I'm correct because you still think that physical reality is somehow separate from you, that you're not influencing it in any sh way, shape or form. How can you ever call yourself a powerful creator if you don't understand that you are creating even the things that you don't want to be creating? in the most powerful way. Now, again, stop thinking that this is about blaming yourself. It's more about taking responsibility for the fact that you are a powerful creator and that you can use your focus and you're doing it all the time. Just because you're not creating what you want in life right now doesn't mean you're not creating. Doesn't mean law of attraction has stopped working. It's always working. It's always, always working, you see. So when you, cr when you have a fear thought that you lean into, that you focus on all the time, you're always talking about it. You're always worried about it. You're always leaning into it. You're always watching that channel. How can you see anything else? Any evidence of anything else in your life? If you stop focusing, you're not focusing on what's working out, how things are going in your way in life. How can you ever see evidence of those things? How can you ever see manifestations of those things? You're not seeing it. And good things are always happening to you. And most of your worry and fear thoughts don't come to pass. But there you are still entertaining that idea and focusing into it. And so you're so afraid of fear now that you're asking, how do I get rid of fear? When the very thing said to you, if you don't focus on it, it don't happen. It's not there. So even at the asking of a question like that, you're leaning into and focusing on the idea of fear. So whatever you, whatever you focus on expands, it grows. It's like watering the weeds in your garden. You want to get rid of the weeds and you keep pouring water on them and wondering why are they getting bigger? So fear is nothing but false evidence appearing real. Understand that. Understand that what you're seeing, 
that seems to support your fear about something is actually the fact that you're supporting that fear and therefore creating quote unquote evidence of that thing being true to you or seeming real to you. And it isn't. If you really think about most of the things that you've worried about in your life, have they really come to pass? Maybe some, some small version of that, right? That you created, uh, usually not the biggest thing that you're worried about or the worst possible scenario. Okay. Even in the midst of all this brouhaha that we're in right now, if you really dig under the surface, you'll understand and you'll see most of that is an illusion as well. But here we are feeding ourselves and feeding each other this stuff constantly. You know, I can remember four years ago when there was another, I'm not going to mention any names or any specifics, but there was a specific individual that everybody was talking about. Everybody was worried about constantly. Oh my God, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Well, and I remember amusedly sitting back going, well, exactly what they're worried about is what's going to happen because they continue to worry about it. They continue to talk about it. They can't seem to shut up about it. So what do they expect is going to happen? Oh my God, my worst fears and nightmares have come true. Well, you wouldn't shut up about them, would you? So what did you expect to happen? If you look at it through the lens of manifesting though, actually this idea and the, all the things that we're talking about give you so much more power and so much more ability to look at that false evidence as being just that false and unreal and, and, and an illusion. Okay. So how do I remove my fear? Well, first stop worrying about removing your fear. How do I, how do I stop manifesting terrible things? Stop talking about them. Stop thinking about them. Well, what, what, but, but I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you bloody can. Stop saying you can't do something. Of course you can do it. See, that's just laziness. And I'm going to have to call it out for what it is. It's just bloody laziness. Okay, guys? You know, if you sit around going, oh, I can't stop this. I can't stop thinking about this. You absolutely can. You've just got yourself into a habit of something. And what do I say again and again and again and again? How do you get rid of a bad habit? You introduce a better habit to supersede it, to override it. That's what you do. So once you understand what you fear the most, and this is an important question to ask yourself, what do I fear the most? Then look at that and start taking it apart in your mind and go, well, is that really true? What I'm worried about? Could that possibly happen? And even if it does, well, what are the chances of that happening? Right? You can, you can begin to argue with your own mind and start saying that the thing I fear the most is an illusion. It's just something that I'm, that I'm constantly leaning into, constantly feeding. And after a while, the, the emotions that come up with that, you know, they, they create a chemical reaction in you and your mind and your mind becomes a addicted to those chemicals so it keeps wanting to reinforce those fear thoughts and those worry thoughts in you because it keeps wanting that chemical push that comes along with it so what do you do you start thinking of better things you start looking at what you do want to happen and that takes practice yes it takes practice oh my goodness you're going to have to do a little work you're going to have to challenge yourself a little bit you're going to have to understand that just watching tarkon's videos alone ain't going to do it okay Sorry, it, it ain't. I'm not that much of a magician. I can't create for you, okay? You can create for you. But you have to start taking charge. You have to start taking your power back. You have to start paying attention to what your mind is doing and not just leaning into it and not just thinking that it has this control over you, that you can't do anything about it, that it, it's this entity that exists completely separate from you in some capacity. It doesn't. It, it's, it's not even you. Your mind isn't even you. You're feeding it your vibration, your conscious awareness of things, your focus all the time. It's doing these things at your command. So tar start taking charge of the ship and start steering it in the direction that you prefer to go. Stop asking, how do I get rid of what I don't want? And start asking, what is it I want and why? The moment you start asking yourself the questions, what is it I want and why? In every situation where you start feeling wor worry and fear, you stop yourself and you go, wait, what is it I want though? What is it I want out of this situation that I'm worrying about, that I have this fear about? And why do I want it? And when you ask yourself the question why, and like I always say, what that means is, how do I want to feel? What emotional state am I after? What state of being am I after here? What does the relationship I want represent to me in terms of a feeling state that I want to achieve? What does having the pile of money uh, represent to me in terms of a feeling state that I want to achieve? 
And then once you un identify that and recognize that, that's the feeling state that you practice. And that begins to attract the things that in your mind, in your understanding, symbolize that state of being. The pile of money, the great relationship, the wonderful car, the wonderful this, the peace in the world, prosperity for all, whatever it is that you, that you worry about the most. Stop fighting the things that you fear. Stop fighting it and start supporting the things that you want. Remember this. I've said this before too, Mother Teresa. Why don't you ever go to anti-war rallies, she was asked. Because I don't like war. Because she understood that if I go shouting against war, what am I creating really in my reality? What am I pulling towards me? More conflict and war and ideas of that. She said, but organize a pro-peace rally and I'll be there because I support peace. And I'm going to support the things that I want rather than fighting against the things that I don't want because that is creating them. That's taking back your power. You need to start to pay attention in every moment of your day. What am I feeling right now? I'm feeling fear. I'm feeling worry. Well, what was I thinking about just now? Or what was I talking about just now? And in what way was I doing that? That gives you an immediate clue as to your state of mind and what your emotional guidance system is telling you about that state of mind. It's telling you through your fear reaction to that, through your fear emotion to that, that continuing to focus in that direction, continue to talk about those things are going to get you on the path towards the things that you least want. Hmm. Well, let me switch it up. Let me start changing my self-talk. Again, you're going to have to do a little work here. Start paying attention and start telling yourself, you know what? How true is it really that that thing could happen? And how, how many times, how long have I been worrying about this thing and has it ever really gone all the way down the shitter the way that I uh, anticipated that it would? No. Usually something comes along. Usually something works out. So look at that. I am supported in this universe. I can create the things that I prefer. The moment I think about things, the moment I let go even of even needing the things that I want so much because that's also based in fear and worry thought. If I don't get that thing, then something's wrong with me. If I don't get that thing, then I won't ever be loved. If I don't get that thing, then I'm a failure. How will others perceive me? If they perceive me as a failure, then I must be a failure. That must be true. So I fear that. And start thinking, oh, I'm a powerful creator. I can change this up. What is it I want out of this situation? And then let your fear be your friend here and let it inform you of what you want the most. Because once you identify what you fear the most, you can identify what you want the most. And then you can begin to focus in that direction. Okay? So I can tell you things like, hey, meditate more, do all that stuff. Of course, do those things, but that should be obvious. But I want you to understand what it really is that you're worried about and what, what this hamster wheel that you're in, this hamster wheel of fear and anxiety and worry, what it's really about. Anytime you worry and lean into that, you're reinforcing the idea in your mind that I can't have what I want. And if I don't get what I want, then that's the end of my world. That's the end of me my identity, I'm, I'm going to lose myself in some capacity, and nothing could be further from the truth. So start taking that, that what is it, the rudder in nautical terms, start steering the ship in the direction that you want it to go. And once you do that, and once you really start practicing that, you'll get better at it. And the more and more you do it, the more you'll realize that, that your fears will just melt away like butter, okay? Like chocolate on a hot day. They won't even bother you anymore. You might still have those thoughts and those fears, but you won't worry about them so much. You'll go, oh, I know what to do here. I just switch to what it is I want. The fear is the tool now. It's not my enemy. It's not the hammer that I'm constantly bashing myself in the head with because I go, well, I'm doing this because why? When it, when it stops, when I stop doing it, it'll feel so good. <laughs> That's that feeling of relief, right? Abraham Hicks says that. I always laugh at that. Stop bashing yourself in the head with a hammer. Start looking at what it is you want instead. And let your fear not be your enemy, but let it be your guide to understand what that is, what that is, how you want to feel. And start practicing that, guys. Start practicing. Okay? So, fear, false evidence. False evidence. Appearing real. That's all it is. I hope that answers that question for you and for anybody who had that question bouncing around their head. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, leave any comments below that you want and hit like on this video if you like it and please hit subscribe and hit that bell notification and if you want to leave me a donation you can do so down below in the description box if you want to some coaching you can also find a link for that in the description box okay guys as always thanks for watching and i wish you a happy weekend and happy manifesting and until next time i'm tarkon and bye bye mm -hmm.